Have you ever come across custom wallet addresses on Solana and wondered how you can create one for yourself? Then this is the video for you. Hi everyone, this is Sahil from Quicknode. And today in this video, we will learn how we can create a vanity or custom wallet address on the Solana network using Solana CLI. So without any ado, let's jump into it. So we will be creating a custom or vanity wallet address using Solana CLI. So for that, first you need to have Solana CLI installed on your computer. To do that, you can come to this documentation page. I'll link that in the description below. And then you can install it. And once it's installed, you go to your terminal, create a new directory, and then start creating the key pairs. I mentioned or I recommend creating a new directory because what the command will do is it will create a JSON file of your key pairs. So it's better to have that separated with all the other things in your computer. So the command to generate or to work with key pairs is Solana Keygen. And let's see how that works. So the Solana Keygen takes two parameters. One is an option and then others are subcommands. So options can be these and then subcommands can be these. And then further subcommands also takes parameters. So the command to generate vanity key pairs or vanity address with key pairs is grind. So what we want to do is we want our custom address to start with a particular string, let's say QN, and we want to generate just one set of key pairs. So what this command basically is telling us that uh, generate a vanity key pair, which starts with this characters, which is QN and generate one set of key pairs. You can generate more based on your requirement. And just like how we say starts with, where we can add a custom prefix to our address. You can also do ends with or both starts and end with. For example, as you can see in the linked guide over here, that you can add ends with, where you can add a custom suffix to your address. And you can also add starts and ends with, where you can add both prefix and suffix to your address. So going back to our terminal, let's run this command. What Solana key pair will do is it will search for key pairs and try to find a match if that particular character already exists or not. And if not, it will just generate a new JSON file. So more the number of custom characters you want to add, the more time it will take to generate the key pairs because it will search for more key pairs to find the match. So as you can see, the CLI has already written our key pair to this particular file, which is uh, this address.json. And uh, now let's go to our code editor, try to find the JSON file, which is over here. And this is our secret key. Let's try to extract the public key from the secret key, which we will paste over here. Save the file. All right. So what basically we are doing over here is we are importing key pair module of the Solana Web3.js library and then creating a variable key pair and then getting the secret key from this secret key, which we got from our JSON file and then printing the public key from that key pair. So I would highly recommend that never ever save your secret key or private key in a dot environment variable if you want to push that code to a public repository or never ever share your secret key or private key with anyone. This is just for demo purpose. So in reality or in production, you should never do this. So let's try to run the code. All right, as you can see, this is our public key, which is a custom wallet address. 
And as you can see, it starts with QN as desired because we said the Solana CLI that our address should start with QN. And just like that, we have created a custom or vanity wallet address on the Solana network. And you can use this to sign transactions, receive funds, etc. Another thing what you can do is you can also create a custom key pair for your Solana SPL tokens. So for that, what you have to do is whenever using the create mint function of the SPL token, what you can do is you can add this optional parameter, which is key pair, where your default account address for your SPL token would be the newly created custom address for your SPL tokens. So if you learned something from this video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the QuickNode YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.